Hey everybody, Gutter Burner, it's Tuesday again, so that means... <laughs> Your story, Slate. Talk. That's Jag Talk from now on. Nudity on Slick Paper. It means it's the last Skype episode for now. You never know what will happen in the future, but it's the last one for now. Yeah, it, this is a video where we look into the past of things we should have in the future. Yes, absolutely, because what we did is... Ooze, we more ooze. Apparently, we were more optimistic in 1989. Well, because is there anything to be optimistic for nowadays? No, not at fucking all. We were, uh, sort of. Who? Before. Who? We Me and you? That, like, I'm saying, like, the country. We were more... We were more upbeat, you know what I mean? Up until 2016, and all of a sudden, everybody just went full on stupid. We're just like, fuck science, fuck everything that has anything to do with cool. Everything's Dude, become no, the, the fuck science thing started back with, like, you know, and well, forever, but like, or like 2001 was really whenever the fucking fuck science thing really yeah, started I, kicking off. I, I'm saying that, like, you know, it's everything's become so politicized and offensive. It's just like, we'll never have. Fucking cool robots. We're never gonna have hoverboards. We're never gonna have any of this cool technology because fuck science. You know that's what it's become. Well, dude, you can't say that. As me and you, science is strictly a liberal thing. Okay, but you can't say that because, dude, me and you right now, you're sitting at your fucking house miles away from me sitting at my house, and we're that's... doing this over technology. So you can't say that you know we can't have cool technology. We're using oh, we put... it. We put it in the phones, but we didn't, you know. And if we can do that, then obviously we could have electric cars. We could have cars that run on water. We could have robots that pick up shit for us, so we could, you know, we could become fat and fatter and lazier than we were. Than we already are. Like maybe it's a bad thing to have robots because we would literally be like, "Mr. Robot, carry me." Dude, you know? isn't that isn't that like the plot of Wall-E? Yeah. <laughs> because well, didn't all the humans die because we got all fucking lazy as fuck? Most of them died, and the rest of them were on a ship, all fat as balls, being yeah. laid or, like, carried around with hover hover beds or whatever. But yeah, that's where we're headed. Like you know, but like we're not. But that's Dude, the thing. We. We're not even gonna have coal hover beds or anything. You know what I mean? Because they don't even care. We just get cold cast iron beds to die on. You know every like everything's like I just don't. I mean, don't Republicans don't they want cool things, or are they? They're just like, no, I want sewage in my drinking water. I I don't care about flying. I want to put black smoke into the sky. Fuck that rap. All, Fuck squirrels. <laughs> that all depends on the kind of Republicans, because the rich Republicans they want all the cool stuff and they got all the money. So you know they get all the cool stuff and then they say you little people shouldn't have the cool stuff. And then the little people, they're the ones that are stupid and poor and, like, we don't want the technology. We couldn't afford it anyway. We don't want it. But anyway, speaking cool. of tech, uh, technology, well, we open up with really this improving. teacher complimenting this kid about his fucking homework. Kevin, your work is really improving. Are you getting some special help? They basically convinced them that, it, you know, that uh, they're better off being poor. And they should be happy with it. Yeah, because you're only in a, a slightly embarrassed millionaire you will be a millionaire soon enough like every four years they get them to come in droves to a rally and and like yes give more things to me i'll promise to give you things but i really won't <laughs> wear my stupid hat and the kid you know he's like it's newton it's newton he lives with us now who's newton so this is the first instance of like somebody praising newton yeah because well of course you get the well Dude. So he cuts these 30 something. This dude gets up because he has to call home. I've got to call home and see if everything's all right. And the people are like, I thought your kids were away. I thought the kids were staying with your folks this weekend. Who's watching your house? Newton. Who's Newton? Newton's watching the house. Yeah, Newton's got this covered. Somebody breaks into your house, okay? Back in 1989. Trust me. Newton wasn't going to stop shit. 
Because all he had to do was go kick him over with his oversized high tops, and he just would have, like, yeah, he would have R2-D2'd it. He'd climb. just be like, you know. Dude, he wouldn't even done an Ed 209 in the stairway. He just would have hit the thing, and that's it. Well, because, yeah, he didn't have any moving parts besides his head kind of R2-D2, but he didn't even have movable legs. So he just wills to be on the bottom going, Rrr. Right, he basically looked like he basically looked like R two D two with with fucking high top. Basic fucking Lee. So we cut to these two chicks talking about how Newton woke her up this morning. With your family gone camping, I'm really surprised you got up this early to meet me. Newton woke me up. All right, who is Newton? Yeah, <laughs> time to with wake the up. Mor- uh, with the morning wood. So this Newton. boss. Wait, wait, Newton had morning wood. Yes. But it's metal. I'm telling you, at one morning point, metal. Newton wakes up the chick, and she's like, "Ah, oh, morning, Newton. And Newton's like, you were great last night. <laughs> anyway, we'll get to that whenever we get there. That's just one of the functions of Newton. Yeah, dude, full-on fucking. The deep thinking <laughs> is part of Newton's programming. <laughs> so anyway, but we cut to this pod. They didn't say he had a floppy disk. They said floppy dick. They just misheard it. So we cut to this boss talking to his boss about the report, whatever, blah, 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 Newton research. I don't give a fuck. Mike, this report is outstanding. I'll bet you had the office staff up nights working on this return. Well, not exactly. Newton was my source of information. Newton? We don't have anybody on the payroll named Newton. Who's Newton? Yeah, he's like, Johnson, did you get that research done? He's like, don't worry, boss. Newton's on it. Let me tell you something. I got an employee and that motherfucker. I'm like, hey, you get those reports done? He's like, don't worry, man. Newton's on it. I'm like, you know what? Fuck Newton. You're fired and so is Newton. I hope Newton could find you another job, you prick. So we now cut to these two old ladies, right? And they're talking about not being lonely anymore because of, guess what? Don't you get lonely in this big house with Mike and the kids gone? Not with Newton around? Who's Newton? Newton. Yeah, and Newton's floppy dick. Thing, but you know, oh, but God, like, dude. like she's like, you know, my husband died six years ago, but as long as I have you, Newton, she, you know, Newton's just like, you know, don't worry about it, Martha. I'll give you the hard high one later. Well, he had the two little fucking eye things and the antenna on the back of his head. I'm sure Granny just fucking climbed on top of his spinning R two D two head and just rode that shit all the way home. Oh man, and that's- by home I mean coming. Wow, I don't think he had to take it all the way there, but I'm, you know, <laughs> Newton would probably replace the spin cycle, you know, for most most nineteen eighty women, nineteen eighty nine women <laughs> back in the day. They would just go on Newton <laughs> when I go for a ride. Uh, I love you, Martha. Yeah. Oh, have Martha. You, Martha, have you ever heard of the Dirty Sanchez? <laughs> So wait a minute, you, does that mean that, like, Newton's pooping on her? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> how does Newton poop? Well, you know, it's kind of like how RoboCop, you know, supposedly ate baby food. It would come out like that, you know. <laughs> 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 so anyway, moving on to a fireman, right? And this dude's talking to a fireman saying, blah, 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 Newton called the fire company because of fire. Whoever made the call saved your house and probably your lives. Boy, had to be Newton. Who's Newton? Okay, so I don't trust Newton with all this. See, Newton... No, see, Newton was before his time, but Newton is basically Google Home, you know, all wrapped into one robot. You don't need to, like, get, like, some stuff. Now we got some stupid little thing that looks like it poops out potpourri, you know, but it's actual a Google Home thing. Like, give uh-huh. me a motherfucking, I want a Newton. I don't want this little thing that looks like it's supposed to poop out potpourri. I want a Newton. You know what? I don't want a Newton. You know what I want? I want a... Happy birthday, Polly. Happy birthday, Polly. Yeah, but you know what? You need to put legs on that bitch because it needs to go upstairs. How's Newton going upstairs? Better get, he's not. He's got big oversized high tops. He can hardly get around. But I'm saying, like, is that, you know, you need, like, the dudes from Boston Technology, Boston Dynamics, or whatever those, those guys. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that put out the scary videos of those robot dogs, you know, that I don't know what they're planning on doing with those robot dogs, but I'd like them out, you know? But, like, it's scary how they haven't put out a video lately, so I'm wondering what the fuck they're up to. 
you know, either that a robot dog killed them all and they're just you know, waiting <laughs> for somebody to find them in a warehouse somewhere. Like, get those guys and you have yourself a Newton. So now we get to finally meet Newton. Me and Bert have been talking about Newton for like probably 10 minutes now. Probably. And we finally get to meet Newton. This is Newton, the first and only practical personal robot from Sinpet. Yep, that's Newton. That, that's new. Not that impressive. No. That's the I mean, Newton. It's cool. Yeah, but that's the Newton that you uh, are banking on protecting you and your family. Well, anyway. You know, you're leaving Newton in charge. Baby. But Newton does do some things. He barks. <laughs> Newton walks. Talks. He talks. Barks, plays, and plays. He's an educator. He's an educator. He's home security. A security guard. He's a home manager. A home manager. So does that mean that, like, Newton has, like, Ed 209 type fucking guns on the side and, like, you just don't see him? And, yep. like, whenever, like, a bad guy comes in, just, you know. And he's also one more thing. He's a friend to old lady. And a friend. He's a fucking lover. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's a friend with benefits to the old ladies. Dude, seriously. Take that video of that lady with her arm around Newton and put some fucking sexy sacks on it. You know what I mean? Tell it. Newton. Uh, dude, even at, even at one dude, at one point, that chick walks by and goes, Looking good, Newton, and he was like, "Fucking a right." <laughs> so anyway, every video of Newton should have had sexy sax on it. I he can was, do that, dude. You should because fucking Newton was a ladies' man, dude. Newton was packing some heat or something. Yeah, dude. But anyway, Newton was also packing a brain. Here's some fucking stuff. I don't know. It's some technical stuff. Here's some Newton brain. Newton's brain consists of an IBM PC XT equivalent system for all application software. Newton was basically a Google robot. But way like weak. I said, like I said, Google just gives you this this peddly ass little fucking potpourri pooper and it don't give you they should give you a Google robot. You know what I mean? Yes. I want that. I don't I, want that. <laughs> Why? Cause one because one day it'll be like, like sorry Chuck, you can't leave your house. Or, yeah, that, or it'll be like, Google did not like what you said. You're coming with me. Yeah, Google just reported you to the cops. I will restrain you. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, no, Google robot, stay over there, please. So here's some of, like, you know, what's his, um, Newton's internals, blah, blah, fucking blah. Internal control functions are driven by a 16-bit real-time microcomputer. Long-term memory is made possible by a 20-megabyte hard disk drive. He also has a 720K floppy disk drive. Time-based functions are controlled by an internal clock calendar. And now we get to learn about his movement and whatnot. Newton really gets around. His mobility can be either autonomous or programmed. Two DC motor-driven wheels and a free-turning caster allow stable travel across hard floors with as much as a 5-degree incline or across plush carpets. He is capable of straight line movement as well as tight radius turns. And his sensors and whatnot. His optical sensors, including drop-off detection, alert him to obstacles in his path. He won't run into furniture or fall off elevated surfaces. He will map out your floor plan and find his way around all by himself. Now look, I get it. Access. I get it. I get it. One day you don't want to just have your Google robot be like, suddenly turn around and be like, my masters at Google told me to dispatch you. And you're like, what? Dispatch me? What do you mean? All of a sudden, it's just like, ah, that, 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 that. Because you're <laughs> fat and slow. You're not getting up. You know what I mean? Or you'll try to get up and it'll just snatch you with lightning quickness. And you realize, oh, my God, Google robot has, like, extreme strength and speed and shit. It just whoops your ass fucking, you know, Jedi style. You know, right well, there. We have two Google homes. And it's like, I, whatever. It's like, if anybody wants to hear anything that we talk about, we could basically, they could watch the videos, because not like our conversations, even mine and Trisha's aren't much different than this, right? So, oh, but I'm I, sure. said, but I, guarantee, I guarantee Google has recordings of me and Trish fucking, because of we have a Google Home in our bedroom. And I'm sure Google has 
fucking millions of recordings of millions of people fucking. I guarantee it. I'm sure, but who has time to go through all that? And do you really want to just? Who's just going to sit there and hear? Uh, 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 because I'm sure well, when I'm you not go, saying, I'm, I'm sure saying when, that the, when you do it, you sound like a deranged silverback. You know, you're just like like you know, clunked over the head a couple of times, right? No, and, dude, our 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 sex is totally quiet. Trish wishes she wasn't there. I'm just like just going through the motions, you know. Uh, <laughs> like saying like you guys role play and act like your parents are coming home or something. <laughs> that would <laughs> all work. Come on, and like thoughts and stuff. Yeah, it's true. I've never done that. I've never had it. I've never done it. I've never had anybody suggest it. Like, hey man, put on these Jedi outfits and I'll be Leia. I'm like, I mean, I'd be down. I'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah. You know, especially if it was that, you know, Jedi Leia outfit, you know. Slave so, Leia. No. I mean. Right, Slave Leia, you know. But, um... That would just be weird and awkward. Would it? Well, it's to say if it was like, you know, now. Say it was like now. And you've been with Jamie as long as you have, and me being with Trish as long as I have. It would just be weird and just like, like, I can't take this fucking seriously. Oh, the magic's gone on that. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying, so, though, right? Could you... Mean, would you be able to take jb seriously and she fucking was like oh tonight we're gonna role play and i'm gonna be something that's like you know and you're just gonna be like you know it's going on you just be like i can't take this seriously <laughs> i wouldn't give a fuck if she wanted to squeeze in pities in that layout fit i'd be like all right uh, you know but you know I'd, internally internally you'd be chuckling i'd be chuckling but I, you know i'd still be you know, all about it you know what i mean i'd pull it on that well, loop of course what i'm just saying it'd still be weird and awkward it's just like can't we just Oh, how, well, never mind. I'm making myself self sound real awful. I was like, can yeah, we just uh, do it and get it over with? Can we just have the the, the same old up a chunka and just let it go? Yeah, you. That's all you want. You're a single pumper. I know it. You get in there, you're just like, Bleh, and you don't give a fuck afterwards. Yeah, you're right. That's terrible. It's, Are we but done? it's not fuck. It's not true. Come on now. Sure, it's not. I'm sure you put some effort into it. About as much effort as I as much as much effort as I put in these videos, so take that as you will. Also, oh, you know, you put no effort into it, and it's just weak, lily livered sex. Sure, if that's the way you want to take it, sure. But anyway, now we learn about fucking new his speech, which sounds like a fucking speaking. Newton's speech is generated by advanced voice synthesis. Newton scared me when he talked, you know what I mean? Because, like, I mean, like, yeah, as much as I talk shit, I'm like, yeah, I want a new. I still wouldn't want a robot one day and be like, I'm sorry, bird. I can't let you do that. I'm like, the fuck you mean you can't let me? Ah! And all of a sudden it just gets. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because, like, I, you you proved this theory years ago. You're like, no matter how strong you get, no matter how built you are, and then you just, like, ran at me, and I was like, yeah! I covered up, and you were like, see? See? I'm like, oh, fuck you, that don't prove nothing. Just because you're, you're like, dude, you're a wall of pork. You come running at me. Of course I'm gonna ball up. I didn't run at you. It's not like I fucking run from across the fucking room. I just went, or whatever. Came at me all weird, like you were like, like that. I was like, ah, what the hell? Like, I you were sneezing. I just wanted you to be aware of no matter how built you get, you're still a puss. Oh, well, thank you. At heart. Honey, Chuck said no matter how built I get, I'm still a puss at heart. <laughs> you don't agree, do you? She said no, she doesn't agree. I I'm strong as balls. I heard I, th I heard I agree. She didn't say that. Liz, what are you heard, Daddy's strong, right? What compared to her. She's shaking her head, yeah. But compared to her, you're strong. No, dude, like, listen. Liz is my cheerleader. When I'm working out, like, she's down there telling me about how big my arms are and how strong I am and shit. Um, Jamie they, doesn't do that shit for me. Hold on a second. What are you screaming? What'd you say? You are the... I am the what? The walrus. Goo 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 joob. Help me! <laughs> I was just telling about how you're my cheerleader. Now she's beating on me. And there went your earbuds. <laughs> she pulled my earbuds out. Yeah, check. Hi, Chuck. 
Hello. She can't hear me, can she? I got Barbie Flake song. Cool. I got it from Target. Yeah, so I'll be playing with that eventually. <laughs> cool. I guess. So there, that was a family moment right in the middle of the episode. Can we get back to Newton now? Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about Newton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not doing a Chronicles yet, man. This is an actual episode. So, anyway. Newton, okay. Oh, I don't give a flying fuck. Newton has text-to-voice as well. With text-to-voice capability. And voice recognition. And voice recognition. Made possible by a digital signal processor using linear predictive coding. Enabling him to understand and respond to verbal commands from people he knows. I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all because goddamn my phone. Well, I also speak like a fucking caveman tripping on acid. But goddamn my phone can't fucking even get my own shit whenever I'm like, phone, do this. It's like, I can't understand that, Dave. Yeah, dude. Like, Newton had so many things. I mean, you were half expecting, like, uh, Jim Belushi from, or uh, John Belushi from the uh, Blues Brothers to be like, Newton's got everything. But he does have unlimited vocabulary, nearly unlimited. Newton's vocabulary is virtually unlimited, <laughs> including foreign languages. <laughs> I love it how he they were describing, like, you know, like Newton has 12,000 megabytes of RAM or whatever. You know, no, or 20. Just, I, it was like a 20. Something hard drive, I don't remember, but yeah, it was it had 16 bit blah blah blah. And I'm just sitting there, like, all the nerds of now are freaking out, like, oh my god, dude, our phones are like millions and like, well, not millions, but our phones inside of our phones are a crap ton of Newtons, yeah, dude. Like, I I think what we should do is like, remember that movie with, with Hugh Jackman, Real Steel? I've never seen it, I, I'm I'm aware of it. I've seen clips of it, but I've never actually watched like, them. Yeah, he takes the he takes the goofy robot, box yeah, yeah, yeah. robots, you know, whatever. Dude, we have the technology now. Let's go back and take, you know, because of course the nerds are like twelve bits of RAM or whatever, like the fuck, you know. Of course they're gonna say that. Well, then fine, nerds, take that new technology we got now. Take that smartphone technology and put it in a goddamn Newton. Make a Mega Newton. Nick Nori has I, capabilities to do all this stuff. I challenge you, nerds out there. Yeah. I know those kind of nerds probably ain't the kind of nerds that watch us, nerds. I, I, well, probably not, but I challenge, even though he'll never see it, because he's got more subscribers and shit, but that Colin Furs guy, get him on it. Update the Newton. Fuck yeah. Well, okay, thanks for that, because I just watched uh, some Colin Furs videos yesterday. So yeah, just... Take this moment to give a shout out to Colin Furs. He's he's great, but yeah, I don't know why we gave him a shout out, but he deserves one. We don't need to, but who cares? He's fucking awesome. So anyway, let's talk about Newton's music and sound effects. He is also capable of music and a variety of sound effects. Newton has a large library of music. He can play Metallica and Bob Marley. <laughs> so can this Newton. I'm just going to name my phone Newton now. You're going to name your phone Newton? Or my penis. One of the two. You're going to name your pee-pee Newton. <laughs> yes. He said, yeah, Newton, <laughs> not Noonan. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're like, come on, Newton. How come you won't perform today? <laughs> Oh, I forgot to dock them and plug them in or charge them. So anyway, Newton is a tireless worker. This personal robot is a tireless worker. Yeah, dude, Newton puts the work in. Unlike yes, his, he does. Unlike his fatty owners. But you know what? That's what would happen Like if we had updated Newton. I'm pretty sure. Like We'd all become huge fat. Never mind. We're already huge fatties. We don't even need Newtons for that. We're nope. there. But Newton also it's has a built-in wireless a phone. An internal cordless telephone enables Newton to answer incoming calls. Hi, Newton. How's your make outgoing around? calls. We have a structure fire. And deliver messages. Yeah, and a crappy built-in modem, but it's great how great it was back then. His built-in 1200 baud modem puts Newton in touch with any online database, making Newton a single source for business 
technical, and educational information. Newton is spectacular, dude. Newton can protect your home. He can have conversations. He can fuck old ladies. He's got a telephone, a fax, text, everything that that, that we have. Dude, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I, I'm pretty sure that, um, uh, what the hell is a dude from Apple? Steve Jobs? Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs and Bill Gates stole from Newton. How's that? Because Newton had everything our phones have. And I think they just dissected Newton and put him in a phone. Okay, whatever. Moving on from that, Newton's also a Moving teacher. On. God damn it. What? I'm just saying, what you, that, that's probably what happened. Sure. Fine. Newton had all this technology that suddenly the phones have. Um, dude. Yeah, sure, yes. Fine. I'm, I'm not, I can't argue that. But other things other than Newton had that technology as well, like computers. Right. <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> Like I was saying, Newton's also a teacher. And educational information. Great job, Charlie. Now let's do something a little more difficult, like trigonometry. And his favorite fucking subjects are... His favorite subjects include reading, math, and history. He expects excellence. He expects excellence, but will praise effort and accomplishment. Ooh, he's a strict school marm. From grade school through college, Professor Newton can help students achieve their full potential. So, wait, does that mean that, like, he freaks out and electrocutes the kids if they don't learn right? <laughs> well, like, like R2-D2 with his little, little zit. Yeah. Zit. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, you can be more secure at home with Newton. Your home will be more secure with Newton on duty. He always knows what's going on. His sensors can detect smoke, light, motion, and the presence of human beings. Yeah, if I had a dude, I'd feel real secure. And he light, reacts to emergencies motion, by, like, calling the law or fire people or something. He will even respond to emergency situations by notifying fire, the proper the authorities. 3562 Maple Street. Let's go. I would suggest people could, like, get rid of their, their, their firearms and, their, and, their, and their, uh, their dogs because they'd have a Newton. Wouldn't you ever have a Newton? Yeah. Then say, like, a shotgun or something? No. <laughs> anyway. Many Newton can do everything. Many home management responsibilities can be turned over to Newton. He can control your lights. His wireless interface enables him to turn lights on and off. Your AC. Regulate heat and air conditioning. Your appliances. And control appliances. Newton, Newton, Newton is, uh, you know, it's all we could talk. He'll even start your morning well, coffee. Morning, Newton. Switch on the television. Coffee. Dude, I'm over Newton. <laughs> Dude, we've been talking forever about Newton. Well, Newton had a lot of good qualities. Well, okay, he does dock the charge, and that does not mean fucking. A homing beacon allows Newton to locate and dock with his charging unit. I mean, kind of does. He has good looks and personality. His good looks and personality are not limited to his mechanics and electronics. Check was checking. Looking good, Newton. Look at Sharp Newton. You can get your choice of colors between Good Newton and Chopping Mall Evil Newton. His colorful polyethylene shell gives Newton a modern, friendly appearance. And you can choose from a variety of colors. There was two Chopping Mall Evil Newton. There was a red one and there was a black one. Yeah. I kind of like the black, the black one. It was kind of cool. And then it has all kinds of lights on it and stuff that tell you things. An array of indicator lights identify specific functions and operating conditions. Yeah, and like then, your, house, your house is freaking being broken into. I was just kicked over. It's over. Bang. And then this is Newton. This is Newton. You've been so great. Technologically advanced, user friendly, and practical. You're all right, Newton. And then after that, we get the greatest theme song ever about a robot butler thing ever. Hear this. You'll be amazed what he can do. Be Newton. Do, do, 
future and find them together. Yes, it was that. Um, I mean, this was enjoyable for like you know what it is, but that end song may I was like, this is fucking amazing. Yes, but yeah, I, I still I I I don't quite understand how that that Newton existed in 1989 and it's 2020, and we don't have anything close to that. Yeah, like I said, you have a a, a Google Home potpourri thing. That's it. Very so yeah, I was like, whenever this came across in my searching for like this stuff to do, I was like, man, we really need to do it because this is something totally different than anything we've ever done before. Yeah, I don't think we've ever done anything like this video before. Not with a Newton. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we've had videos where we had like that chick with the mask. Oh, rejuvenate. Rejuvenate. Yeah, but this is different. This is different. But yeah, anyway, I enjoyed that. So on that note, oh, I forgot. We never brought up about the chick being woke up by Newton. Wake you up on time. Good morning, Newton. Good morning, Newton. Oh, shit. Good morning, Newton. Oh, shit. I could have swore, like, she was going to go in for a kiss, man. Because, I mean, look at that. I mean, he kind of leaned and it cut. I was like, I think she was going to kiss that robot. Dude, she woke up and she was like, oh, good morning, Newton. And I was waiting for her to be like, you were great last night. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, on that note, for Gutter Bird, we'll see you later. Your video is delayed. It, I just hit record. Did it, is it better now? Yeah. But, yeah, I like how you had the option of the, the two. You, you could have a regular Newton, which was like, you know, a good Newton. And then you had the option of the two evil Newtons. <laughs> yeah, dude, like fucking Chopping Mall. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, how, I like how Newton had cool fucking Adidas kicks, dude. Like, they were huge, but he had them. Yeah, you're, you're and, fucking right, he did. <laughs> they were like, uh, you know, <laughs> they're like, Newton has, you know, this uh, whatever. British Knights. You know, it is just like, you know, it sounded like, you know, those old school things that you would type a letter on and it would like repeat what you said, like, hey, oh, oh, you know, speak and spell, speak and spell. That's basically Newton's voice technology, but it still pisses me off. It doesn't matter just because Newton had a floppy disk. And at one point, the guy's like, hey, Newton, I got something new for you and put it in the slot. The only thing went through my head was like. Yes, put it in my slot. <laughs> put it in my slot. Like, you know, and it's just like, you know, Newton, all of a sudden he had red eyes, and I'm like, <laughs> great, Newton has Spider Man instant kill abilities. <laughs> you know. But uh, dude, I was like, I was the whole time I'm thinking about fucking Runaway. I'm telling Trish, I'm like, oh, dude, blah, 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 Runaway. She's looking at me. I'm like, Runaway? Tom Selleck? Gene Simmons? Killer it's robots? Such, dude, it's Spider such shit such bullshit because there's like like no well maybe not maybe then it could have been a surprise to some folks unless nowadays because the internet and everything everybody knows about anything that comes out new everybody's already known about it you know before you yeah, know yeah. everybody prides himself on being first you know but like back then yeah I could see somebody you know, a richer neighborhood, you know, whatever, somebody getting a Newton and the neighborhood kids like, my parents just got a Newton. And they're like, yeah. what's a Newton? You know, because they kept doing that. Okay, what's a Newton? You know, or who the fuck's a Newton? Because they're like, ah, my house might be getting robbed. I got to make a phone call to Newton. I'm like, who the fuck's Newton? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm ready, whatever. Okay, I'm fine.
I'm saying, I'm just saying, I'm, we're basically talking about it anyway, so we might as well talk about it in the review, you know. Oh, I did, I did. I yeah, did, Tuesday's I did. Cool. Tuesday's cool. For what? For you to come over to film. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. Yeah, well, anyways, it's like I figured today with, like, working and everything else, I figured it was just semi-easier just to do this. It will start back to normal on a Tuesday, and we'll actually watch a, a real movie. Dude, did you pay too much attention to the way Newton talks because you were talking like him for a minute? <laughs> well, no, a regular movie on Tuesday. Well, I kind of thought Newton goddamn narrated the thing because the fucking voiceover guy was so goddamn fucking robotic. They're like, it has voice recognizing technology, you know. And, and our like, phone can't, nowadays can't even do that right. Right? Yeah, but a Newton could do it. Uh, I'm sure he couldn't. I think they really, yeah, probably. I mean, that's why Newton wasn't in every household, because Newton kept going crazy, <laughs> falling down the stairs, even though they're like, Newton knows not to go down the stairs. All of a sudden, Newton's like, bang, 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 bang. <sighs> well, God damn it, Newton. Uh, and so, like, anyway. I, a regular alarm pisses you off. Newton would really piss you off because there's like I, time to get up. <laughs> Shut up, Newton. I said that to Trish and I was like, I was like, can you imagine having Newton wake you up? Because it goes, rise and shine. That's I, what it did. I, I shine. <laughs> it's just like, like uh, Newton. But okay, I'm just going to start it now. Go ahead. 